They say a brick with wings will fly if given enough thrust. The F4 Phantom II, well, she can do more than just that. And of course, a major part in creating the DCS F4E has been building its high fidelity flight model to accurately recreate its character, challenging feel, and performance of this legendary aircraft. Flying the F4 can be a handful. Hands on stick and throttle at all times, keeping coordinated and constant trim will keep you flying and fighting at the optimal level. Control is achieved by the use of ailerons and spoilerons on each wing, a standard rudder, as well as an all-moving interlocked horizontal tailplane. The thrust, of course, is provided by two massive afterburning J79 engines. Our F4E is the so-called softwing F4, which includes a slatted wing. The added slats, which extend at high angles of attack, significantly improve aircraft stability as well as turn performance at the expense of a little bit of added drag. While the F4E is no slouch in a turn fight, it is an older generation aircraft without major lifting body advancements and only a rudimentary flight control system. Pushing the limits is easy, and breaking them can quickly turn deadly, especially as the F4 rarely lets you know she was about to depart from controlled flight, and the feedback system from buffeting was more degraded than in the Softwing F4. One of the most helpful tells for the pilot is to closely listen to the AOA aural tone system, a unique innovation found in the F4. Without it, you just can never be completely sure as a part of our simulation of the flight model, we've also, as usual, recreated all of the systems used to control the aircraft. For example, the stick and attached bellows and associated flight control hydraulics driving various control surfaces. Under your stick is an intricate force and trim position simulation, which drives the ultimate position of the control surfaces based on your input. This also includes plenty of interesting failures such as your bellows inlet freezing at high altitude, causing significant control issues. Furthermore, we've also added a new stick force simulation system. When engaged in the special options, this system will allow you to limit your stick movement force, which can be helpful for those of you who have issues with applying too much force too quickly. It emulates the forces needed for moving and trimming the stick in real life, for engagements of the autopilot, and more which a desktop joystick cannot replicate. For those who have access, it is best experienced in a combination with a force feedback HODAS. Providing the beating heart and plenty of thrust is our simulation of the J79 engine. Every part of the engine is intricately modeled, from the compressor to the fuel pumps, to the afterburner nozzles and associated subsystems. All of these engine components are tied together in our components-based simulation framework, yielding a deep and complex engine simulation, just like our F-14. Push it too hard or take damage, and the compressor stalls or engine fires will be on your list of things to deal with. Performance and validation of the flight model is of massive importance and pride. Fine-tuning the flight model of the F4 to real charts and performance metrics has been a key part of the process in developing, as you can imagine, and will continue through early access. We've accrued a large collection of flight performance research and data on the F4 Phantom and have aimed at leveraging it to its fullest in order to ensure maximum adherence to real-world performance. It has also been constantly evaluated during development with the help of our subject matter expert F4 crews of pilots and whizzos who have been unquestionably deeply valuable in our mission to recreate everything they experienced. Ultimately, our goal has been to provide you with a one-to-one -one recreation of what it's like to fly an F4 Phantom with its quirks, difficulties, and enjoyable characteristics all playing their part. It's going to be a challenge for new pilots and old. But in the end, there's nothing more satisfying than a good guns kill in the lead sled.